airports are already feeling the strain of staffing shortages, delays, cancellations. A live look for you now at Jacksonville's airport from our SkyCam. Flight tracking website FlightAware shows 17 cancellations at JAX today. Hey, take a look at this misery map. That's a pretty good amount of red on there. The FAA is now taking steps to ease the burden of air traffic. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean is live at the airport with how federal regulators are reacting to the summer travel spike and how passengers are reacting to the delays. Joe? Yeah, and the FAA, the FAA says that uh, airlines right now are carrying uh, the highest number of passengers since the beginning of 2020, since the pandemic started. But the traffic jam issues are not only caused by the number of uh, passengers in the sky, it's also being caused by where all that air traffic is happening. Summer travel season is crowding the skies once again. We landed at 4 a, 3 a.m., and it was cluttered and there was almost nowhere to walk by four. With the biggest traffic jam now happening in Florida, the FAA says flights are up 150 to 170 percent at some airports in the Sunshine State. This map shows the different air traffic zones across the country. The darker ones are handling the heaviest air traffic. From 2016 to this year, you can see the massive shift in where flights are happening. The Jacksonville area is now one of the busiest parts of the country. It's run out of the Jacksonville Air Route Traffic Control Center in Hilliard. And because of the huge shift in demand to this area, the FAA announced in May that it would be adding at least 30 air traffic controllers to this center. That may alleviate some of the flight delays that Florida airports have been seeing. According to federal data, about 37% of delays at JAX are due to problems with the plane's equipment, crew, or refueling. About 28% of delays are caused by a late arriving plane. Another 24% are issues with the national aviation system. Weather, cancellations, diversions, and security delays make up the remaining 11%. A nationwide shortage of airline pilots and an increase in military and space launches are all putting even more pressure on the air traffic in this area. Some JAX passengers we spoke to did see some minor delays. Most of our trips were on time. The first plane was delayed a little bit, but that was about it. And some offered this advice for summer travelers. So I advise anyone, be on time and don't, you know, don't be late. That may sound like obvious or cliche advice, but it's actually the same tip that we got from the uh, spokesperson from the Jacksonville Aviation Authority. He said during the summer rush of travel season, he said it's uh, a good idea to plan extra time, to plan to arrive at the airport extra early to account for that summer rush. He also said during the summer travel season, it's a good idea to call, check with your airline before you leave for the airport. Even if, whether you're traveling or just picking someone up for the airport, check Check with the airline to make sure that there are no cancellations, changes, or delays. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. So, Joe, I imagine every time there's a delay, it costs money. Have you found any information about how much this, this is costing? Right. The FAA tracks uh, both the direct costs and also the indirect costs. Uh, FAA data shows that delays in airports across the country uh, caused roughly $23 billion worth of losses in 2016. Now, in 2019, which is the most recent data we have, that went up to $33 billion. And of course, we know flights are now back to pre-pandemic levels now. Back to you. Thanks, Joe. Reporting to us live from the airport.